In the next few videos, we're going to explore the possibilities of using pen and ink to create portraits. We are going to look at fiber tip pens, at ballpoint pens. Pen and ink in general, a very dynamic, very powerful medium, a very simple medium. So, simple tools, incredibly powerful results. As you can see, the artist is very at ease with this medium, simply because he's been using it for a long time. This is a style that he has created himself. It's a trademark style. And as time has gone by, he's become more and more at ease. And the drawings have become more and more accurate and powerful. The artist begins by establishing his basic composition. He wants the face, the placement of the face, to be harmonious, so he puts down some guidelines and some markers. He gets the hairline right, the jawline, the basic proportions are established without much ado, and it's all done in a free and easy kind of way. Um, keeping his lines lively and there doesn't seem to be any sense of him being intimidated by this quite unforgiving medium. You have in fact to try and pretend that you're not using ink. You have to pretend that you can rub out because if you're terrified of this medium, it's not going to work at all. Now, from my viewpoint, where I'm filming from, it's almost a three-quarter view. If we switch to where the artist, where Stefan is drawing from, it's basically a profile view. You can see there is no attempt to hide the construction lines that are there in the drawing. The artist is allowing you into his mind, as it were. He doesn't hide his tracks. He leaves you a trail to follow. So what we are in fact getting here is a very revealing insight into the artist's visual journey as he translates 3D reality into a two-dimensional artwork. These lines create a lot of movement in an abstract kind of way. And um, you can see how lively that all becomes, but don't go crazy about it. We want it lively, but we don't want it too busy. And we have to remember our priorities. This is a portrait. This isn't an abstract creation. So we have to remain faithful to the principles of portraiture. Observation is vital. Capturing a likeness is vital. Capturing personality is vital. Style for the sake of style is not a good idea in the long run. Being a portrait, of course, the area around the eyes is of vital importance. The artist is actually using quite a thick felt tip here, but that doesn't stop him from working in a very bold, decisive way. It's so important to work without any kind of anxiety. But of course, this kind of confidence can only be achieved with many hours of practice and perhaps a few failed drawings along the way. Because there is very little margin for error, it is important to sustain a high level of concentration when using ink. Of course, this comes with practice, but the results are absolutely stunning. 
if you persevere with this medium. Actually, using a very powerful medium like ink actually helps you to see every correct visual statement that you make helps you to make the next decision and the decisions are in fact much easier to make than they would be if you were using for example an HP pencil these dark these intense dark marks are shouting out at you. They're actually helping you to get your angles right and get your shapes right and get your proportions right. So rather than being intimidated by this medium, you have to embrace it. You have to fall in love with its drama. In fact, the fiber tip pen is a very versatile instrument. By using the side of the fiber tip, you can create fine lines and in this way also create the illusion of shadow. So shading is possible, even with a big fat felt tip like this. The intensity of the blacks that you can get using a marker like this is something to behold. Imagine trying to get the same depth and intensity with uh, graphite. It's even with 6B, it would be almost impossible. Incidentally, these are Sakura fiber tip pens that the artist is using. that little hint of a smile so so important and the artist has nailed it these little details are so vital the aim the object of the exercise is after all to capture personality now just check out the artist's easel everything is spotless now if you've been used to using pastel You've probably been used to going home very dirty. You've probably been breathing in pastel dust all day long as well. One of the beauties of this medium is everything is clean. Your clothes stay clean, your hands stay clean, your easel stays clean. In practical terms, using these pens just makes life a little bit less complicated.
there is a lot of linear energy in this drawing, especially around the outline area of the face. So Stefan tries to fool around with this, tries to uh, direct the spectator's attention to where he wants it to go. As he goes down the drawing towards the shoulders, now he's gonna stop, change the fiber tip, and choose one that's slightly bigger and stronger and bolder, so that he can actually give more emphasis to this bottom half of the drawing. Um, at the same time, even though this is a thicker uh, fiber tip, he can use the side of it to create amazingly subtle details. Again, we're dealing with a very, very versatile medium here. These Sakura pens cover a lot of ground very quickly. I mean, look at the hair area here. How rapidly you can block in that air. At the same time, when you need some subtle shallow effects, you can use the side of the pen to create this. You can see that just the way you actually hold the pen makes a lot of difference to the kind of marks you're going to get. So clearly the more experience you have with this medium, the more mastery and the more control you will have over your artwork. This drawing is actually not taking a long time. I think in general, you will find that you speed up when you use inks. You will draw faster. You won't have time to waste erasing, for example. You'll have to make decisions, you have to make them quicker, and you'll have to stick to them. You might find the whole experience more rigorous, but maybe more exhilarating too. Now it's nearly finished. Um, always a danger of overworking this kind of drawing, so remember to stop at the right time. Now it's not a uh, very big drawing, maybe A3 uh, or demi Reza, but it packs a hell of a punch that 
powerful black on white paper. It's really dynamite. It will make an impact hanging in any room. And it can hang in any room. It will fit with any kind of decor. Black ink on white paper doesn't feel out of place anywhere. All it needs now is a nice mount and a frame and bingo.